Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Let's talk about how to pronounce 100 jobs. When you first meet someone, talking about your job is one of the first topics that comes up in conversation. This phrasal verb, come up, means that it easily arises in conversation. So I want to help you learn a simple, clear way to describe your job. It looks like we have a little friend who is here to help us explain these job titles. I don't know how long he's going to stay. We'll see. It's pretty perfect because I'm wearing this cat shirt today. Well, when someone asks me, Vanessa, what do you do? I say, I'm an English teacher. I teach online. Simple and clear. And usually they ask, how does that work? Can you do that? And I explain, yes, people from around the world who want to learn English find my lessons and I help them. Great. This is a simple, clear way to explain this. So today we're going to practice pronouncing a lot of job titles and I hope that yours is one of them. It's great for introducing yourself, but it's also useful to understand other job titles so that when people say that that's what they do, you can have a little conversation about it or at least understand the word that they said. So I hope this will help to build your vocabulary and also help you to meet other people. There are a couple ways to describe your job. You could say, I'm a teacher, or you could say the full sentence, I work in education. This is the field that you work in. I work in management. I work in construction. You're not saying your specific job title, but you're just generally saying I work in plus that field. Or you could say I work for Google. I work for Apple. I work for a local pizza restaurant. Here you're talking about the company, as long as it's something kind of well-known or maybe well-known in your area, you can say the company that you work for as well. Now that we've talked about these two helpful sentences for describing your job, I work in management, I work for Google, let's get on to some specific job descriptions. I've broken these into different categories. Some of these are general, some of these are medical or food or creative type jobs. There's a couple overlapping type jobs, so we're just going to try to stick with those categories to help you remember them. Let's start with some general job descriptors. I'm the director of the marketing team. I'm the director of the design team, to be the director. Or you could say, I'm the manager. I'm the manager of the sales department. I'm the owner of a local restaurant. Or you can make this a complete sentence and say, I run the local restaurant. That means that you're in charge. I run the local restaurant. I run my own business. I run a jewelry business. I run some kind of business because I'm the owner. The next category deals with jobs that include words of some sort. The first one is teacher. I'm a teacher. Or you could say, I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm an elementary school teacher. I'm a middle school teacher. I'm a high school teacher. You could be more specific. I'm a math teacher. I'm an English teacher. I'm a piano teacher. I'm a music teacher. Excellent. I'm a professor at the local university. I'm a professor at the local college. This means that you are a teacher at the university or at the college. We don't say teacher for this higher level of education. We say professor. You might also say, I work in the school system. This means that you generally have a job that deals with education, but you don't really want to say specifically what you do. You could just say, I work in the school system. I'm a student. I'm a philosophy student. I'm a student of biology. I'm a biology student. I'm a daycare worker. I help little kids have fun all day. I'm a daycare worker. I'm a translator. I'm a translator. Do you notice how I added a D in the middle of this word? That's because in American English, that T often changes to a D. So make sure that you say that correctly, especially if you're a translator and you deal with words. Translator. Or you might be an interpreter. Interpreter. Do you notice that same thing happening at the end of this word? It sounds like D-E-R. Interpreter. I'm a writer. Again, we have that T in the middle of the word changing to a D. I'm a writer. Or I'm a journalist. I work for the National Geographic. This is a well-known company, so you might say, I work for National Geographic, or we could add the if you'd like. I work for the National Geographic. Excellent. I'm a lawyer. Lawyer. Even though the root of this word is law, 
The vowel is different when we're talking about the person. Loy, loy. It sounds like it rhymes with boy, toy, lawyer, lawyer. Or maybe you're a judge, a judge. Like we mentioned before with the school system, you might say, I work in the court system. Maybe you're not a lawyer, or you're not a judge, but you generally work in the court system. This is excellent. You can say, I work in the court system. I'm a tour guide or I work in tourism. You might not be the guide yourself, but you could say, I work in tourism. And if it's just a simple chit chat with somebody else, they'll get the general idea that you work with tourism instead of the specific job, giving all these details about what you do. I work in tourism. The next category of jobs have to do with medical related jobs. The first one is doctor. I'm a doctor. You might say, I'm a heart doctor. I'm an eye doctor. I'm a bone doctor. There are some technical terms related to each of these fields. For example, you might say, I'm an optrician instead of I'm an eye doctor. But in daily conversation, we usually keep it simple and just say, I'm a bone doctor. I'm an eye doctor, something like this. I'm a surgeon. You might be a neurosurgeon. You could add some more specific related words to this, but make sure that when you say the word surgeon, surgeon, the end of that word is beautifully pronounced. Un, un, it's kind of swallowed surgeon, surgeon. Or if you're not a surgeon, but you have to go to the doctor, you might say, oh, I have to see the surgeon today. I'm worried about what he's gonna say. Make sure that you pronounce it correctly. Surgeon. I'm a nurse. Or I'm a pediatrician. This is the doctor who deals with kids. You could combine these words and say, I'm a pediatric nurse. This is a nurse who works with children. I'm a nurse. I'm a pediatrician or I'm a pediatric nurse. A lot of these jobs, you can combine them to be more specific for your field, so that way you can expand your vocabulary even more. I'm a dentist, dentist, or I'm a dental hygienist. This is the person who checks your teeth and usually aids the dentist. I'm a dentist or I'm a dental hygienist. Great. I'm a pharmacist. Break down this word with me. I'm a pharmacist. Or maybe I had to talk with the pharmacist today because I think they got my prescription wrong. I talked with the pharmacist. If you help to work in the pharmaceutical field, you might be a pharmaceutical scientist. Let's break down this word. Pharma, that's the first part. Pharmaceutical pharmaceutical scientist. I'm a pharmaceutical scientist. I'm a scientist. This is quite general. You could make it more specific. I'm a neuroscientist. This deals with the brain. I'm a neuroscientist or I'm a biologist. I'm a chemist or I'm a physicist. There's different syllables here, so say it with me. Physicist. I'm a physicist. I'm a researcher. Make sure that the vowels in this word are the same. Er and then er again. I'm a researcher. Researcher. I'm an occupational therapist or I'm a physical therapist. Sometimes in the field those are shortened to OT or PT. I'm a PT. But if you're talking to someone just on the street or someone you met who isn't familiar with the field, I recommend saying the full term. I'm an occupational, make sure that you use shun in the middle of that word, occupational therapist, or I'm a physical therapist. I'm a psychologist. I'm a therapist. If you're feeling a little bit down, you're feeling some depression, you might go see a therapist, or you might say, a psychologist. I feel like it's a little more common to say therapist for these types of people. I'm a veterinarian. 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 But you can also say I'm a vet. Just to let you know, if you say I'm a vet, someone might think that you used to be in the military because the word vet can be short for veterinarian or it can be short for veteran, which is someone who has served in the military. So sometimes people who used to be in the military might say, 
oh, I'm a vet. This means that you used to be in the military, but if you're a veterinarian, you could also say, I'm a vet. So if that person generally has an idea that you're some kind of doctor, you could just say, I'm a vet, but you can specify and say, I'm a veterinarian. Great word. And finally, in our medical category is dietitian. Diet is the root word here. Dietitian. 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 This is someone who helps to create healthy meals, maybe for a nursing home, maybe for a school system. They are a dietitian. The next category are jobs that deal with offices or stores. The first job is secretary. I'm a secretary. Let's break down this word. Sec secretary 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 i'm an office worker this is quite general but you might want to be general and just say i'm an office worker i'm an engineer you might be more specific and say i'm a mechanical engineer that's what my dad is or you might say i'm a civil engineer i'm a software engineer notice that the t in the middle of software is cut out soft where the F and the W are right beside each other when we pronounce it software engineer or you might say I'm an environmental engineer this great word environmental let's break it down environmental 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 engineer I'm an insurance broker I work in insurance I'm an insurance broker, I work in insurance. I'm an accountant, or you could be more specific and say, I'm a tax accountant, or sometimes this job is referred to as a tax advisor. Make sure that when you say the word advisor, there's a Z sound there where the S is. Advisor, I'm a tax advisor. I'm an account manager, account manager. What if you work in marketing? Would you say, I'm a marketer? Not really, it's okay, but it's not that common. I feel like it's more natural to just say, I work in marketing, I work in marketing. I'm a human resources manager, or I work in human resources. What if you have a technical job, maybe like this, human resources manager, and you don't really wanna explain it to someone when you talk to them? You could say simply with a smile, maybe with a little laugh, oh, you know, I work in an office. <laughs> this kind of means that you don't really want to explain your job in detail. It's not rude. It's kind of funny. Oh, you know, I work in an office. <laughs> it just covers all those bases, all of those categories, office jobs. Oh, you know, I work in an office. I'm a technician or I'm an electronic technician. I'm a sales representative. I work in sales. Maybe you don't want to say I'm a sales representative every time. You could just say I work in sales. Great, that's clear and simple. But how can you pronounce the word representative? You might notice that the T, the first T in this word, I'm cutting out. You can pronounce it. You can say, I'm a sales representative, tative in the middle of that word. But you can just cut it out too. That's what a lot of native speakers do when we're speaking quickly. So let's say it slowly and I want you to try to repeat it with me. I'm a sales rep representative it sounds like zen peace zen in the middle of this word i'm a representative i'm a sales representative i'm a sales representative you can do it all right let's go to the next one i'm a customer service representative same pronunciation for that word representative but instead you're saying customer service Typically, these are jobs on the phone compared to a sales representative, which is most likely in a store talking directly with a customer. But you could be a customer service representative. I'm a receptionist. I'm a receptionist. You might be a hotel receptionist. What about a clerk? Sometimes I hear English learners say, I'm the hotel clerk or I'm a clerk in an office. This word clerk kind of makes me think of 1800s, England, people in a dark office scribbling down notes. I'm a clerk. We don't really use this term in the US anymore. So if you are a receptionist, you're helping someone at the front desk, you are a receptionist. You're not a clerk. I'm a consultant. You might say that full word like I just did, 
consultant, or you could kind of swallow that last syllable and say, I'm a consultant. Consultant. Here we have the root word, consultant. I'm a consultant. I'm a consultant. I'm a consultant. Mm. I'm a buyer. Usually if you use the word buyer, you're going to want to be a little more specific. Like, I'm a buyer for mechanical parts on airplanes. Like one of you on YouTube told me, I'm a buyer for mechanical parts for airplanes. Great. I'm a bank teller. Or you could just generally say, I work at the bank. I used to work at the bank and I often just said, I work at the bank. I could have said, I'm a bank teller, and that would have been more specific, but maybe you have a different job at the bank and you don't want to explain in detail. You could just say, I work at the bank, and most people can get the idea of what you do. I'm an intern. This isn't a specific job field. It could be in any job field, but maybe at the moment you are a student and you're trying to get a job in a specific job field, maybe at an engineering firm but you don't have the skills yet, so you are an intern. You're learning those skills with the hopes that someday I'll get a job here. I'm an intern. And the last one in this category is I'm a realtor. Realtor. It sounds like just real plus T-E-R, but it's not spelled like that. I'm a realtor or I'm a real estate agent. This is someone who helps you to sell or buy houses. I'm a real estate agent, a real estate. Usually we link those words together. I'm a real estate agent or I'm a realtor. The next category of jobs are creative jobs. Of course, if your job is in another category, you also probably need to use creativity. Everyone needs to use creativity, but this is the best I could do for a category. So we're gonna talk about creative type jobs. I'm a designer, maybe. I'm a web designer. I'm a fashion designer. I'm a developer. I'm a web developer. Make sure that when you pronounce this, that V has some vibration here. Developer. If you have any problems with the sound V or any other sound, I made a video called How to Pronounce All 44 Sounds in English. You can watch it up here and it will help you to pronounce V. Developer. I'm a computer programmer. Make sure that when you pronounce the word computer, you say D-E-R at the end. I'm a computer programmer. I'm an advertiser. Or more likely, you could say I'm in advertising. That's the most common. I'm a photographer. Make sure that the emphasis is correct here. Photographer. That T-O-G, photographer, is emphasized. Photographer. When you're talking about the physical thing, a photograph, we're going to emphasize a different part of the word. Photograph. Do you notice that the first syllable is emphasized here? Photograph compared to I'm a photographer. F, that first part is small. Photographer. I'm a photographer. I'm an animator. Make sure that the T changes to a D in American English. Animator. I'm an animator. I'm an actor. I'm an actress. Sometimes women will also say, I'm an actor. It's not so specific that if you're a woman, you have to say, I'm an actress. But if you're a man, you won't say, I'm an actress. Actor could work for both. Or if you're a woman, you're welcome to say, I'm an actress. I'm an artist. I'm a tattoo artist. Here, that middle T is also changing to a D. Artist. Artist. I'm an artist. I'm a painter. I'm a painter. I'm a sculptor. I'm an interior designer. Interior, interior. Say that with me. Interior designer. Someone who designs the inside of places, usually someone's house, maybe a hotel, maybe some special building, is an interior designer. I'm a musician. This word is kind of tricky. Musician. Musician. Musish, zish. <laughs> Practice that with me. Musician, musician. I'm a musician. I'm a tailor. Or if you're a woman, you might say, I'm a seamstress. Women can use the word tailor as well, but men probably won't use the word seamstress. This is someone who fixes your clothes and sews them. I'm a tailor. I'm a seamstress. And the final job in this creative category is I'm a gardener. I'm a landscaper. 
Both of these mean the same thing. You deal with plants and flowers and that kind of natural world. I'm a gardener. I'm a landscaper. Notice that the D here is kind of cut out. Landscaper. I'm a landscaper. The next job category are jobs that deal with food. I'm a chef. Or more specifically, I'm a pastry chef. Pastry chef. I'm a fry cook. Usually this means that you work at a fast food restaurant, maybe in the back, you're frying things. I'm a fry cook. Or you could just say generally, I work in the kitchen at this local restaurant. I work in the kitchen. I'm a server. Or I'm a waiter. I'm a waitress. It's a little bit more common to say I'm a server because this covers men and women. It means that you bring food to the tables. I'm a server. I'm a host. I'm a hostess at the local restaurant. This means that you greet the customers when they come in and you help them to find a table. I'm the host. I'm the hostess. I'm a barista. Barista. This is someone who makes coffee drinks. I'm a barista. Or I'm a bartender. You make alcoholic drinks. I'm a bartender. I'm a dishwasher. Yes, this is the name for the machine, but maybe you are the person who washes the dishes at the restaurant. So you might say, I'm the dishwasher at that restaurant. I'm the dishwasher. I'm a taste tester. I'm a taste tester. I'm a farmer. Of course, you could say the type of thing that you farm. I'm a cow farmer. I'm a corn farmer, I'm a rice farmer, or you might just generally say, I work in agriculture. Agriculture. I work in agriculture. The final category of jobs is societal type jobs, jobs that deal with our social framework. The first job is, I'm a police officer. I'm a police officer. You could say, I'm a policeman, that's totally fine. But it's a little more gender neutral to say, I'm a police officer, and that's becoming more common to just say, I'm a police officer. I'm a fireman. You don't really say I'm a firewoman. <laughs> so if you're a woman who's a fireman, it's okay, you're a fireman. <laughs> I'm a social worker. Make sure that you say shul, social, social worker. Try to say that word 10 times. Social, 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 it's tough. You can say it, I'm a social worker. What about if you generally work in the government? Can you say, I'm a civil servant? A lot of my English students say this and it's okay, but we don't really use this. Instead, it's more common to just say, I work in the public sector. I work in the public sector. Or maybe I work for the health department. Something that's a little more general like this. We don't really use the term civil servant that much anymore. I'm in the military. You could be more specific and say, I'm a pilot in the Navy, or I'm a private in the Army. That's fine. Or you could just say, I'm in the military. Make sure that in American English you pronounce those final three letters, military. Same with the word secretary. In British English they kind of link those all together, but in American English we say each one. Military. Secretary. I'm a plumber. Make sure that the B is silent. Plumber. I'm a plumber. I'm an electrician. Electrician. I'm an electrician. I'm a house cleaner. I've heard some students say, I'm a maid. And this is something that we don't really use anymore. It's quite old fashioned. It does mean that you probably take care of the house. But nowadays, it's more common to say, I'm a house cleaner. I'm a truck driver. Or more commonly, you might say, I'm an over the road truck driver. This means that you drive long distances. Maybe you're taking important shipments of food to different places, or you're taking some kind of packages to another location. And it's usually far away, maybe overnight. I'm an over the road truck driver. I'm a construction worker. Construction. Again, that sh sound here. I'm a construction worker. I'm a personal trainer. I help people to get fit, get strong. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a hairdresser. I'm a hairstylist. Or for men, I'm a barber. If you cut men's hair, you could say, or maybe their beards, you could say, I'm a barber. But if you also help women, 
you wouldn't really say I'm a barber because that deals with just men's hair. You could say I'm a hairstylist, I'm a hairdresser, any of those words work. I'm a beautician. A beautician is typically someone who fixes your nails and makes them look nice. I'm a beautician. Beautician. I'm a librarian. Librarian. Lots of syllables here. Say it with me. I'm a librarian. Or maybe you're not a librarian. You could say, I need to ask the librarian the name of that book because I forgot. Librarian. I'm a commercial pilot. Commercial pilot. Or maybe you also work on an airplane. You are a steward or a stewardess or a flight attendant. Typically the term flight attendant is a little more common, kind of like server compared to waiter or waitress. This word flight attendant is a little more gender, gender neutral, so it's kind of professional sounding. I'm a flight attendant. I'm a handyman. This means that you fix stuff. I'm a handyman. I'm a stay at home mom or stay at home dad. Both of these mean that it is your main job 100% to take care of the kids. If you are a stay at home mom, of course it means that when your husband comes home, he's gonna help participate in taking care of the kids. But during the day, usually those working hours, it is your job to take care of the kids. Not an easy job for sure. What about if you don't have any kids? Or maybe your kids are 20 or 30 or 40 years old, so you don't need to take care of them anymore, but you don't have a job outside of the home. You could say, I'm a homemaker. I'm a homemaker. This implies that you're not taking care of children, you're taking care of the house. So if you have children, make sure that you say, I'm a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad. You don't say, I'm a homemaker. And our final job here, congratulations, you made it through, is I'm retired. That means that you finished working. I'm retired. But you might say, I'm retired, but I used to be a teacher. I'm retired, but I used to be an engineer. Great. Or you might say, I'm retired, but I still work part-time. <laughs> this is uh, pretty typical for a lot of people. I'm retired, but I just can't stop working. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot of jobs. <laughs> I hope that one of these was yours. Let me know in the comments, what's your job? Can you explain it? Can you pronounce it naturally? Try to read it out loud. And also it'll be interesting to see what other people's jobs are. Thanks so much for learning English with me, and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye! The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much! Bye!